tools are one of mankind's greatest creations. It goes all the way back to the wheel, the shovel, the bucket, the metal detector, the pickaxe. Admittedly, I might be <laughs> a little out of order here, but you get what I'm saying, right? Tools obviously historically have always made things easier, but you see, tools did not just stop in the caveman age. We still have tools today on an electronic or a digital level. It just looks a lot different. They serve the same purpose though. They make uh, something that is a 1000 hour task. It can turn that into something that is uh, just done in minutes or seconds. A lot of programs we use these days on computers are our tools, but uh, what if I told you that there are some seriously huge tools that are being worked on right now that is going to make recompilation of old games for PC ports so much easier, and it is going to make uh, stuff like this come out way faster, in my uh, very big opinion. Now, it's funny, just about six days ago, I actually made a video on exactly this, only it was for the Nintendo 64. There is this project called N64 Recompiled, and yeah, essentially, it it came out that they are going to probably have a pretty good year. Some of that was to do with some of the tools that they were creating. Well, it just so happens that it just came out that this same thing is actually happening right now for not only the N64, but the PlayStation 2. But the thing is, this project has actually been around for about four months now. It is at a total of 8% completion, which might not sound like much, but I have good news because you see, uh, the reason we're talking about it today is because this whole project has gained a lot more public attention thanks to one developer making a post about it. So this is Vinicius Medeiros. I apologize if I'm not pronouncing that correctly, but essentially it looks like this is a developer of a mod for Duke Nukem Forever. So they just made this post a couple days ago saying, navigating on GitHub, I found a cool project still in its early stages. That is building a tool that will allow the creation of PC versions of PS2 games, similar to the N64 and Xbox 360 recompilations. So obviously we got to look at this on GitHub. We got to look at the actual project itself. So this is a project called PS Retro X. This is an application designed to reverse engineer PS2 games. Obviously, if you know how recompilation works, you kind of get what the overall goal is. But it also says PS Retro X includes built-in tools for decompiling and decoding game assets, such as audio, 3D models, source code, and other game data. Essentially, it sounds like this is just a uh, one big project focused on creating tools that are going to make stuff like this just a lot more efficient and probably a lot faster and easier to do. I do want to mention too, and I'm not going to show this guy's LinkedIn because I'm only like 99% sure that I have the right guy's LinkedIn. I, I know I said only 99%, you just never know. I don't want to like show somebody's uh, profile if it's not actually them. But according to the LinkedIn from this person that I found, and according to an article that I found on this whole thing, it looks like this this is actually a university student from Argentina that is studying engineering. This is the person that is running this project and it looks like has, uh, up to this point anyway, done kind of most of the work. And then it goes on to show kind of the progress they have made. And yes, as I said, overall, the 1.0 build is at 8%. So that's 8% in four months, which again, does not sound like much, but I would expect it to go up a lot more rapidly now that it has gained attention. Other people might now jump on this project. And then yes, he does go into details on the different features of this project, just a ton of uh, different tools for decompiling and recompiling games. Overall, this is huge for PS2 recompiling. I really think that we are probably, after this is all said and done, going to start seeing legitimate PC ports of these PS2 games, which is awesome because PS2 is uh, like one of the huge consoles that I grew up on. I love so many PS2 games, and there's just not a ton of like, you know, PS2 fan-made, uh, mods, like full mod games that we see, at least right now in 2025, but I think that when this project is finished, that could very much change very, very soon. I can't wait to see what kind of projects people come up with.